Hello everybody, today we're going to learn a little bit about abstract art. Abstract art uses lines, shapes, patterns, and colors to create an image that isn't necessarily identifiable. This art form is truly about how the individual artist sees the world. Abstract art is not limited to painting. You can make any abstract art using whatever tools and supplies available. Collages are a great example of abstract art. Let's first focus on Vasily Kandinsky, a Russian painter, 1866 through 1944, who is an art theorist. He is credited as a pioneer of the abstract art movement. He is known for his lyrical style and innovative theories on non-figurative art. In his 1910 treatise concerning the spiritual in art, Kandinsky made famous his belief that abstract colors and forms can be used to express the inner life of the artist. He had synesthesia, which create voluntary perceptions that cross over between senses, tasting shapes, hearing colors, for example, where he could see color to sound, so his paintings and artistry moved to that form of his expression. Next, we have Rosalie Goddard Vogel, originally from Virginia, Minnesota, born in 1918. She became a reasonably successful abstract expressionist in the 1950s. Her work was mostly photography and was collected by the nation's most famous museums, the Museum of Modern Art and Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York City, the Minneapolis Institute of Art, and other small galleries. When she died in 1987, her sister donated the rest of her work to the Minnesota Discovery Center, which was known as Iron World at that time. Vogel used art as a way to cope with life's problems and anxiety, which can easily be seen through her work. She focused much of her work on shadow and light. The Minnesota Discovery Center had a featured exhibit of her works in 2015. Our final example is Jackson Pollock, an American painter from 1912 to 1956. He was a major figure in the abstract art world. He developed the most radical abstract art, redefining lines and angles, creating new means to describe the canvas space. His paint dripping and splashing was a new technique, and he would use anything but the traditional paintbrush to add movement and depth, such as knives, sticks, and trowels. Again, using his emotion to express on each piece without any specific ending result in mind. Now let's make our own abstract piece using the Kandinsky method where we'll listen to some music and just see where the pencil and markers take us. Thank you. 
Notice how I've been using multiple mediums like marker, crayons. I would add paint or whatever you want to use right here. Obviously, it's completely up to you and how you feel what you have available to you at the moment. Mm -hmm. 